guys welcome back to Skisha Tina where everything is exclusive if you're new to my channel welcome if you're turning what's up y'all so I am a little sick I got the Rona but it's okay I'm still gonna show y'all how I retwist my hair um somebody asked if I could do it a little slower for y'all so this video is only going to be about retwisting so if you're learning or if you just want to see how I do my retwist this video is for you so let's get into it Everything that I use in this video will be in the description box. This is my favorite hair gel that I like to use. Super Grow Hair Gel Extra Hold. And then also I have this misting spray bottle. And I have this tapered comb. I took the teeth out of the top of it so it will be easier for me to part with. You're also going to need these small clips so after you retwist your hair you can clip your locks down. You'll need these duck clips and also these hair ties when working in sections. So I pulled my big mirror out so I can see the front and the back of my head. And I know that everybody doesn't have a big mirror. So I'm also going to put a alternative in the description box for y'all so y'all can see the front and the back of your head. I just freshly washed my hair and this is what it's looking like. Very fresh looking. All that temporary hair color came out. So that is a plus. The first thing I'm going to do is take the back part of my head and section them off in two sections. When I section my hair off, I do a total of four sections. So I'll do two sections in the back of my head and then two sections in the front of my head. So right here, I have a little bit of webbing, marriaging, whatever you want to call it. It's been two months since I've retwisted my locks. So I just carefully pull these locks apart on damp hair. Do not pull your locks apart on dry hair because you could deal with like a lot of breakage. So I just carefully separate my locks into these two sections. So a little trick that I like to do is clip all these clips on my shirt. So when I'm done retwisting my hair, I can just go ahead and clip my hair. It's just an easy access to the clips. So I just wanted to share that little trick with y'all. Now I'm just sectioning off the first row that I'm going to retwist. If you want really neat and clean parts, you have to take your time. Like there's no way around it. If you want those crispy looking parts, just take your time. Make sure your hair is also damp during this process. Now that I have my first row, I'm just going to take my duck clip and clip up the locks that are not going to be retwisted. I'm going to take my lock gel and take a generous amount of gel. I know it looks a lot, but this gel has no buildup. For me, I never had any bad experience with it, and I'm just going to put it all on that first row. I'm not using any combs yet or anything. I'm just pushing up any hairs that may not belong in that first row and pushing them down. I grabbed my comb, and now I'm just going to comb through the gel. Naturally, the hair should go back into the section that it's supposed to be in. I just comb up and I comb down to make sure that my sections look as neat and as straight as possible. I did do my own lock, so I don't expect my parting to be extremely straight. If it's a DIY thing, you're just going to have to accept the fact that your retwist isn't going to be perfect. When it comes down to the vertical parts, so the parts that are in between each lock, I don't really focus on it as much, but I do make sure that the correct strands are in the right locks. I go in with a little bit more gel. I know I'm going a little bit gel crazy, but my retwist be lasting for more than a week, for more than two weeks. So I stick by this little routine that I got going on. So I'm just going to retwist my locks counterclockwise. So whatever way you started your locks, whether it's counterclockwise or clockwise, make sure that you retwist your locks in the same direction every time. So right here, I'm just slowing it down to show y'all how I retwist my hair. 
I wrap my finger around any extra strands of hair that may, you know, be frizzy or whatever. I just kind of twist my lock down and make sure that all that extra frizz is in the lock. I promise y'all my retwist is not tight at all. It's the gel that just kind of holds it down like that. It looks tight, but I promise you it's not tight. I want to show y'all a little example of what it would look like if it was twisted too tight. So you would see like a whole bunch of product. You'll see like bunching at the root. Your locks should not look like this at all whenever you're retwisting. It should be flat to the root. So back to the first row, I'm just going to take my comb, make sure everything looks neat and straight, and then I'm going to put a little bit of gel and then retwist my lock down. I just repeat these steps the whole time through my retwist. So as you can tell, I don't clip my locks down after every lock that I retwist. This gel has such a good hold where I can do the whole row and then go back and clip my locks down. I like to do it this way because sometimes the clips are just in the way so it's easier for me to be able to just do the row and then go back in at the clips. I just wanted to show y'all this length I got going on in the back because like what like <laughs> I can't believe it okay back to the video I like to slightly twist my locks before I clip them just in case any of them unraveled while I was finishing up the row and then I add my clips so here I added three locks per clip it just wasn't comfortable for me so I went back and did two locks per clip so when you add the clips, it shouldn't be uncomfortable at all. So just readjust the clips until they are to your liking of comfort. So now I'm going on to the next row and I'm gonna do the exact same steps that I did for the first row. I'm not going to talk through it this time. I'm just going to let y'all see how I do it. And then I'm going to go on to the front part of my head.
So in this row, this is a row where I realized that I have some hair that does not belong in this row. But I'm not going to force it out this row because my lock is locked up with that hair in it. So I just let it be. Like I said, it's not going to be perfect, but it can still be and look neat. Now on to the front of my hair. I have to mist my hair because it is super dry by the time I reach the front of my head. But I do the exact same steps that I do to the back of my head. But I do focus a little bit more on the parting because people are going to see the front of my head more than they're going to see the back of my head. So I do the exact same steps. I put a generous amount of gel. I make sure the parting is straight. I pull any hair out that needs to be in that section. This time when I did the front of my hair, I didn't leave any of my edges out. Um, so I make sure that all my edges were where they're supposed to be. When it comes to the front of my hair, I don't retwist my edges as tight as I would retwist like the rest of my head. I love my edges and I kind of already have like, I wouldn't say thin, but my hair isn't that dense when it comes to the perimeters of my head. So I just slightly retwist them and call it a day. I don't want too much tension on my edges because I love my edges so I don't want to be bald or anything in a couple of years so I just be really cautious about how tight I retwist my hair and then right here I'm just wrapping any excess hair or any frizz around my lock so I don't wrap my lock around my fingers when it comes to the front of my head like I did for the back because I don't want too much pulling around the perimeter of my head. I'm going to go in with my clips and clip them down. And the one on my edge, I do a separate clip because like I said, I don't want any tension. And that's it. Then I just repeat the same steps throughout the front part of my head. So the middle part is usually always my last section. So I just apply the gel and make sure that this middle part is as straight as it possibly can be. I feel like over time, like middle parts can kind of shift. I don't know how, I don't know why, but I don't know. I just feel like it, they shift. So I just make sure that all the hairs are where they're supposed to be when it comes down to my middle part. And I retwist them. And then I'm done with my retwist. Um. 
So this is the end of the video. It took me almost two hours to do my hair. So if you want like really neat parts, just be patient, be patient with yourself because it does take time, especially if you're new to like learning your hair. Your retwist is gonna get better as the months go by. So I'm about to go sit under my hooded dryer for 15 minutes. And then for the last five minutes, I'm gonna take the clips out and let my hair finish drying that might be like damp under the clips. And then that's how I finish my retwist. If you wanna see what my results look like, stay tuned for my nine month update. That will be uploaded on Saturday. And I'll see y'all next time, bye.